We've got some fresh hey, new I'm Luis, talent and welcome to the Content is Profit Podcast. In here, we're going to get the insight, accountability, and drive to create consistently and increase your revenue. You'll hear from top entrepreneurs, creators, and anything and everything you need to know about content. All this while having a good time. The goal of this podcast is simple. Entertain, educate, and turn your content into profit. That is right. Welcome back to Content is Profit, episode 401. Officially, I think we post a little bit more on that, but today is just me, Luis Da, and I bring you a little bit of a rant. I bring you a little bit of a rant. And no, no, it's not with Fonzi, I promise you. In the world of content, we actually get this communication quite a bit, and I'm a little frustrated. <laughs> and I'm going to let you know a little bit of why that happens. I'm obviously going to bring it into context. I'm not going to put any names out there, but it made me reflect on many things and the people that, that we've been helping and the people that are having amazing success with their content and how they've been able to establish their own systems and different things. From the background, what really I'm going to share today is this six-step process that we've been able to design in order to produce more than nine terabytes of micro content. That's a ton, guys. That's not two very big videos. Like just every single piece of micro content. And I think up to now, the, the drive that we have is like more than nine terabytes and that's a year in. So there, there's still more somewhere in there. But part of what brings me to talk about this topic today on the content production specifically, right? We In the previous episodes, we talked about the six phases of profitable content. Production is just one of them. There's other five that we need to take into account. But this specific topic is where a lot of people get hung up. A lot of people are like, man, like I'm not able to figure out, I'm not able to conquer it, or I'm not able to follow the system for an extended period of time so we can get it and better, whether that's with their internal teams or with ex external teams. And this works for everybody, right? So this, we run into the same process many times, even before you know the content machine was working. And this was our version on how we were able to conquer our own content for the podcast and the micro clips that we put out there. But also it has it turned it into the service that, that we offer. And this is the backbone of the things that we do. So I really want to break it down today because one of the emails that, that we got today was one of the people that we're helping were not following on the communication. We were falling off and our team is very diligent on reaching out every single day. Hey, we need some kind of feedback at the, at the front end and we're not receiving some of that feedback. And then for whatever reason, they're not a fit for us and we're not a fit for them and that's okay. But I want to use this as a learning lesson for a lot of people because normally where the process breaks down is there's not a set plan in the, either the messaging or when we come in to hire an agency and we've gone out and hire agencies and obviously there's people that hire us and we've been very aware to make sure that this is a process that's in place so we can move fast and i just want to make sure that if you are looking for that person to go hire you actually have something in place where you can be like okay there's a plan. There's several steps that we're going to take forward. We're going to take that as a starting point, and then we can evolve from that. So what we're going to do is we're going to share six steps that you can use today for your own content or even that if you end up working with us. So here we go. I'm actually going to go and break down the six steps. We're going to describe them a little bit, and I'm also going to give you a tool that you can use to actually go and execute on this. So very simple. The first thing, and you'll be surprised that with many people that we either receive applications for or even start working with, most of these elements are not in place. So the first thing that we got to do is actually we got to do a back end folder setup for all your files. And this can be a little bit technical. So for those that are there, there's some complexity to some of these, but also you can boil it down to something really basic as a shared Google Drive. Like what is the folder setup? And we got to be very clear on what our outcome is going to be for that content. Is it just one full episode or is it micro content based on that output, based on what you want to, to produce for your company, for the clients that you're serving? What does that folder setup look like? We've, uh, you'll be very surprised we've gone into some drives and it's a little bit of a nightmare, right? Like videos named very differently, just all over the place. We have B-roll here. We have interviews on the other sides. What is the structure that, we are, that we're going to be able to build on the back end so it's easily accessible for your video editors or the teams that go do that? So on our side, we actually take care of that. We bring in, we create a folder setup, and then we include all these elements that we asked for like in the first call. So make sure that is ready for the teams and their teams on the time distribution. So element number one is make sure that you have your folder set up ready to rock and roll. Now, 
the second part to this is like obviously based on your outcome, right? And for the sake of an example, let's talk just video podcasting, right? Just one long video where we're actually going to talk and there's no chopping, no nothing, right? It's like just one episode, right? Just for the sake of this episode, we're going to talk about that specific case study. If you guys want about micro content, let me know and we can go into that. But the next step is, you know, how do we actually break down that content? So is it is there an intro? Is there an outro? Is the episode? Is there hooks at the very beginning? Right. So we want to have that structure set up ahead of time. And then we're going to actually process what's being created. Go back to the six stages. We create the episode in this case, just like I'm recording it right now. And we want to put it in a platform where we can actually manage the content, where we can play with the content. For some people, that's a video editing software, right? For us, we love a tool called Descript. If you want to find out more, the link is right below. You can click there. And then in the when we first started, it was somebody actually going in, transcribing the whole episode, and then breaking down the ideas. Like, what do we talk on the first half of the episode? What do we talk on the second half of the episode? And you can set those parameters however you want. For us right now, how we divide it is by ideas. Is Fonsi saying a good idea? Is Luis saying a good idea? We go by indicators. Was that a funny moment? Was that a polarizing moment? Was that an education moment? That's specifically for our show. But for other people, what's your breakdown. How do you want to break down the ideas? Do you want to be entertaining? Do you want to be like fully educational? Do you want to be a mix of both? And based on that criteria, you can then now start uh, selecting those ideas. The next stage to this is once we have that mapped out by this time, just so you know, we're not editing just yet, but by that time we have all this mapped out, highlighted in the software, or you have specific timestamps where you want to, you want the chops to be made or edits out or edit in or all the fancy things that you want to do. Then it goes through an editorial process. That's step number three we have somebody in the team that goes actually through that content and be like okay this is approved or this is not approved and here's where we actually pick what comes at the beginning of the episode what goes at at the end of the episode what is the approved title of the episode sometimes we put a title up front and then we have to change the headline so in this editorial is where we approved all the copy side all the chops or the main episodes, all the edit out. So make sure that you have a step in there where you can actually approve this ahead of time before editing. And we, we understand that everybody has their own creative process. And again, this is something that has helped us scale content really quickly. Because part of the problem is that a lot of people want to create content very fast at a very high volume, but there's no system. The first thing that we got to do is build that initial system so we can start producing repeatedly, consistently, right? Through a long period of time. And then we can implement feedback and get the creative people on, on top of that base, right? Stage number three, right, is what we've done in the past. And this is some people that put this on the very back end, but we do it like in the middle is if there's any images like thumbnails, right? We now have the thumbnail title. We now have the headlines, right? We now all have these elements that are written copy now our designer team can come in and can do a bunch of assets with that in this case for the sake of the episode we will create the thumbnail we will create the podcast promotion asset right and anything that doesn't move really is in this stage then after that will be the video editing side of things so then those notes where it's like hey edit in edit out these are the things that we're removing these are the things that are staying right go to the video editor and of course the video editor depending on what type of video editor you have they can be like really creative or they can actually follow the framework and be like is this something that we do every single day and this is the format that we do Perfect. Sounds good. There's a big gap in there where your team or the people that you have working on your content can fill in creatively or can follow that structure to make sure that you can sustain a long period of creative process throughout like your business. So for the images and the editorials and the video editing, some of the tools that we use is obviously Descript 100%. There's a lot of the process that happens there. Illustrator, even Canva, the pro version has an amazing set of tools that you can utilize and you'll be, very, you'll be very surprised on what you can do there, especially with the new AI stuff that's coming out. And then as a video editing software, you can use any of the Adobe products, even Descript you can use. DaVinci uh, Resolve, I think is another one that people can use, but this is more specific to the team. So if you are familiar with one of these tools, I highly recommend it. And the last couple steps is the quality control process. Once you get that content back to you, right? How are you checking in for any of the captions? Are you checking in for the subtitles? Are the graphs added in the right spot? You know, is the full episode kind of flows? And then we just make sure that it's something that you feel proud that it's going to be come out there. So this obviously you will set up the standard on what these elements are inside of your own process. 
and then put those as a checklist on your quality control process for your team. Be like, okay, is the intro where we said it was going to be, right? Do we have hooks in place? Do we have the call to actions in place? What is the call to action that we're having? Are we promoting something? And is that call to action relevant to the things that we are promoting at the moment? And then the last bonus surprise stage is if there's any revisions, then we communicate with the team. What are the revisions, right? What are the things that need to change inside of the process, right? After that, content is approved and is ready to rock and roll. So quick review. This is short and sweet episode packed with value, but it's, we need a way to make sure that we are setting up the folders and the drives where all these files are going to go. Number two is like, how do we break down the content based on your outcome? Is it a full podcast episode? Is it micro content? How do we break it down? Then there's an editorial process, right? Is everything, all the edits in, edits outs approved, right? Are the chops the right way? Are the hooks approved? What is that process before we actually give the instructions to our team? Then we create any images, promotions, anything that doesn't move. And then obviously the, the content goes to the video editing side of things where we craft that amazing asset. And then obviously we revise it in the quality control process and revise it if needed. So I really hope this is helpful. The reason we're sharing this is because we've seen many times that a lack of system stops the production of amazing messages, right? People out there, entrepreneurs out there, companies out there have an amazing message. And this is the thing that's stopping them from getting from point A to point B and moving the content at a faster pace. We talk about consistency and we talked about frequency. This is how you get it. This is a simple framework that you can follow with your teams where you can start producing at a very high level. So if you have any other questions or if you want to reach out to us, you can always find us on social media at bizbrosco or Luis that creates. Yes, I did change my Instagram handle. You can find us there. You can also go to www.bizbros.co and find more information in there. We're happy to help you. We're happy to consult with your team. If you do have a team, we're happy to take that burden of the content production out of you. We actually follow a lot of this framework that we just shared and we're happy to serve you and we're happy to support you in spreading your message so with that said guys thank you so much for tuning into the contents profit podcast go ahead and follow the show in your favorite podcasting platform and on social media at biz bros co and again if this was helpful and is helping move your content forward send us a message let us know let us help you as well have a good one and take care bye